Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. Look, if you're trying to find a credit card, uh, high limit credit cards at that, and just using stated income or you don't have to show proof of income, then these credit cards may be for you. Now, please understand, like with sometimes credit card companies, they will some point down the line, they may ask you, hey, uh, can you provide us with like your W-2 or pay stuff? But most of the time, here's the threshold. If you're going for a high limit credit card and saying that you're making a hundred thousand dollars, okay? Now, what what would trigger them to want to see verified income is that when they pull your credit report, okay? You're saying you're making a hundred thousand dollars, but you're not having rent payments on there, or you're not having a, a mortgage on there, or you're not having a car loan. So this will throw up a red flag. Okay, now granted, most credit cards are stated income. Okay, uh, that's the reason I tell you all if you are married, uh, if you married in a household with a spouse, you should include your spouse's income. If you're receiving child support, alimony, uh, you should include that income. Okay, uh, if you're disabled, but you're renting out a room, then yes, that's income that you should include. If you're retirement, but you're receiving a pension and 401k, yes, you should include that income. Okay, and that's very important because that's the reason a lot of people end up with those low limit credit cards because of that. That's not the only reason. Another reason that people end up with low limit credit cards is because of their DTI, their debt to income ratio. Now, when you apply for credit cards, I would tell you, here's the biggest thing that most people uh, do. They end up applying for a credit card hoping for a higher limit, but what happens is they have too many open in revolving accounts okay so if you have a uh, multiple open revolving credit cards and stuff then I would tell you to pay it down to 10% or zero the reason is especially if you're trying to go for a higher limit credit card you should should have a, a smaller amount of open revolving account the reason is is because it shows them that you can actually manage credit all right now it, what happens if you uh, don't get approved for a credit card? One of the things you can do, you can call the reconsideration line and you can be like, look, um, I really like your product. Um, I want to use your card and stuff like that. What it is that I can do to actually uh, get in your good graces to get this here card or whatever. And most of the time, they would take that into consideration. Let them know uh, what you're going to be using the credit card for. You know, especially like if they're travel credit cards or something like that that give rewards points. You can let them know, hey, I'm about to go on a big trip and stuff like that. And I know I'm going to be using my credit card a lot, you know, and I wanted to get the uh, rewards rewards points and stuff like that and I know that you have a good a good rewards uh, program okay so that's how you talk to the reconsideration line if you get denied uh, credit cards and stuff like that but one of the bigger things like I said is income debt to income ratio those are going to be your biggest hurdles in terms of helping you get higher limit credit cards that being said let's talk about some of these credit cards uh, that possibly won't do a hard pull on your credit and it won't it will go off a of stated income versus you showing proof of income the first one is the apple credit card the apple credit card from goldman sachs now the apple credit card from goldman sachs uh it is a fico 9 they're usually going to pull your transunion it's no hard pull uh when you apply so you can pre-approve for that card okay it's a fico 9 now the next uh credit card uh is the patel 2 all right the, i always talk about the patel 1 i really don't talk about the patel 2 but the patel 2 if you have a, a decent credit score and you want a, a higher limit credit card because the higher limit credit card for them goes from 300 up to 10,000. so for individuals that's trying to get five thousand dollars or more these are the best credit cards you possibly want to go for that's going to be a soft pull on the credit uh no stated income okay only state excuse me only stated income versus showing proof of income okay so the patel 2 
FICO 9, uh, TransUnion. Then you have the Tomo credit card, okay? You can also get this here card as well as the Patel 2, even if you don't have a credit score, all right? This credit card goes up to 10,000 as well. Now, what they wanna do, they wanna see how many how much is your transactions in your bank account so if you have active bank account with transactions and stuff hold on that's a jet sorry about that guys they went that way what i was saying about the tomo car wow that's exciting um anyway back to the tomo car uh ten thousand dollars um they don't ask for proof of income, but they do want to look at your uh, bank account information, all right? Then you have the Navy Federal. Now, the Navy Federal starts you off, uh, the least credit card is the in, the uh, secured card, but the next one up is the uh, end rewards. And usually that end rewards card, um, $2,000 plus. Usually you can probably get it up to about 5000 or more. Now, with Navy Federal, they are TransUnion FICO 9 as well. The reason I like them is because you don't have to have perfect credit. And I'll tell you one other thing about Navy Federal. A lot of people want to get that uh, flagship car because it goes up to 80000 and you don't have to have perfect credit for that either. You can actually do that on a product um, exchange in order to get that Navy Federal flagship card. Okay, so you don't have to have perfect credit for that. Now, the next card is a Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo Active Cash Experian FICO 9. Okay, now I know you're probably wondering like, what's up with all this FICO 9 stuff? The reason is, is because with your FICO 9 credit score, it's much easier to get higher limit credit cards, okay? Versus like if you're with a Chase Bank, um, excuse me, Chase Bank, if you're with uh, Bank of America, if you're with um, some of the credit unions and stuff, they're not using, that are not using FICO 9 and stuff, they don't have as much flexibility, okay? So the FICO 9 is the sweet spot in re reference to where you want to actually get uh, your credit cards from, okay? Now, that being said, then there's one other credit card. It's the First National Bank, uh, First National Bank of Omaha to be exact. So it's a FICO 9 experience too. And you can even garden in yourself. And what that means is basically you open up a personal checking account, a savings account, you know, and then apply for a credit card. But they are a FICO 9 uh, bank as well. All right, and they do give pretty good high limits. All right, so that's the reason, like I said, and in terms of like verifying income, again, if you're not doing the shady stuff, then they won't verify income, especially with like with credit cards and stuff like that. Okay, they won't do that, but um, just so that you use precaution when applying for these credit cards and stuff like that, make sure that all of the in income is counted in the household all right so if you have any other questions about business credit funding personal credit funding click the link in the description and schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation thank you